What up with a Q or the QT couple? And today we got a quick little pickup, you feel me? We alternate who pick up the baby so the other one can go to the gym every day. So I decided to go ahead and get a stationary bike. So that way we can at least get a little cardio in, you feel me? A little a little something on our days we gotta pick up baby boy. If you hear something in the background, baby boy and Dallas. So here it is right here. I don't know if you can see, you probably see it now. Lisa Hart Cardio Cycle. I don't know who Lisa Hart is, but bless her heart because I found this on discount today at Sports Academy for $74. Uh, the normal price is $150, I believe, and then I checked on Amazon because you know they always got something for the low. Always. And they had like a, I guess this is new because they had a launch discount. He tried to tell me I need my glasses, but they had a launch discount on Amazon as of today. Today is October 9th. And the price on Amazon is $138.99. So $74 is a straight steal. So we're gonna put this thing together. I ain't gonna lie, it looked kind of light. It looked kind of light, but it's a bike that you can fold up so we'll be able to stick it in the corner without taking up too much room. It's, uh, got magnetic resistance, so we're gonna see how that go. I'm 240 right now. So if it can hold me up, it's definitely gonna be able to hold T up and we're gonna get it in. So you're right, baby. Let's get into it. Let's get right into it. So now December. Crack the box open. Ain't too many pieces in here. I ain't even gonna lie to you. So installation should be easy though. Starting the assembly. Side note right here. It make it look kind of intimidating. Say 12 washer. You need all this, that, and the third. But they already in here, dog. So here go the front. Well, actually, that's the back. And that's the front stabilizers on here. So all you gotta do is unscrew these and then put them in. So it's gonna be a bit selling point for a lot of people is how easy it is to put up there. So here go the seat instructions right here. Screws are already on there. The piece is right here. All you gotta do is attach it, screw it on, and then stick it through here. And that'll be your adjustable seat. And here's the little uh, dial that you could take in and out in order to move your seat up and down. So I'm gonna do that and then we're gonna move on to the next step. Seat on, that was simple enough. Now the back support, we gotta put that on. The instructions right there. And the actual piece right here. Once again, all the screws, everything you need already plugged in. And then here goes the little pad that go up there too. So let's do that. Screwing in the handlebars now for when it get real, you know what I'm saying? You gonna need them to hold you down. All right, now we got the top portion installed. And it came with some little batteries. You just gotta put it in the compartment back here so put that on and then we're gonna try it out now the display is on it ain't the most impressive thing on earth but hey it's enough this definitely ain't touch right here but you can hit the mode pads right here on the side and it will change some things up for you see what you got going on over here there's another mode button as well look like you do the same thing so just one depend on the hand. It got some pulse sensors up here so you can check your heart rate. See what you're working with. See if you're working hard enough. So now it's time to hop on top of it and see if it can hold me up. Oh boy. Can't forget to show you one of the most important features is folding it up. So you just take the pin out that's down here. And I think I gotta press the ball there. Press that, pull it through. You can fold the top, you see that? Fold it like this, and there you go. Nice and snug, so that's nice. You can just sit up against the wall, and then you're good. And then when you want to pull it back out, do it like that. Boom, hot right on. So that's real nice. So we got the bike successfully built. First thing to note, if you kind of wide, these handlebars kind of tight. They kind of tight. Like these right here, they close and tight. Watch your hand, baby. They kind of tight. So you got eight levels of resistance. That feel real, like you can see how it's kind of jumping like that. But even the machines at the gym tend to do that a little bit when you crank it up real crazy. So let's see. That's four, that's a nice little resistance, five. And that's, this kind of jumpy at five. I'm trying to see. Yeah, it's kind of jumpy at five, not crazy. Four is better, still a little bit jumpy. Put on one. So one is super easy. It's like that. There's no resistance at one. Two. A little bit more. 
three feel pretty good. I ain't gonna lie. Let me see. <laughs> the loop ain't real wide. So if you kind of tall, eh, might not be for you. And I think my favorite setting on here is the resistance at four. Let me try to go. Whoop. That's a nice little burn right there. Then slowing down. And of course it may take some break in. I don't know too much about the bearings and everything inside, but after riding the bit may loosen up and get smoother, but it does have some rock to it. So if you but I didn't move around already. So it ain't the most stable thing in the world, but then again we are on the hardwood floor, so got me breathing already. But yeah. Ain't no way I almost did them out that fast in this little demo. But anyway, so far so good. We're gonna keep trying it out. For 74 bucks, I ain't mad. I ain't mad at it. If it's 300, I might be upset, but like it's a go, man. Check it out. Link to Amazon down in the description below. But check Sports Academy for a better price. <gasps> Thank you for watching. Like, comment, subscribe. Till next time, peace.